Power Query is a tool created to assist the data wrangler on their day-to-day -day job. On a daily basis, the data wrangler extracts raw data from a number of sources like Excel, CSV, and text files, and even databases and web services, and transforms that data using his own toolkit, which consists of Excel formulas, BVA, and sometimes even third-party add-ins. The end result is something more meaningful like a report. Now, there are some problems with this approach, and we're going to talk about what goes through every time that we need to create a solution using that toolkit. Now, every time that we try to create a solution, we need to start by gathering all of the requirements. What do we need to create? What are the questions that we need to answer? Once we actually have all the requirements written down, then we can go to the next phase, which is actually creating the model or writing down a diagram of what we need to do to actually get to the solution. Once we actually know how to get there, then we need to execute that plan, which can actually take a lot of time. But once we actually get to the solution, we can actually just see how to present it. This is the final report. And at this stage, if the final report does any, any changes, then we're actually great. But in most cases, we're going to have to modify a part of the report or even add new information to this report. And this is where we actually need to go back to the requirements phase to actually gather more information about what needs to be changed or what needs to be added. And this is where things actually go south because it's not so easy to actually modify the final report. At sometimes we actually have to start all over. And this is where we actually see that the traditional Excel approach is really complex. It takes a lot of tools to actually get to the result that we want. And most of the time we actually get a really poor performance. Not only that, but it takes a lot of time to achieve the desired result. It can take hours, days, or even weeks. And last but not least, and probably the most important one, the flexibility that we actually get from this approach. New requirements or simply simple changes could make us start everything from scratch. Let's summarize what data wrangling is. Data wrangling in a nutshell looks like this. It's just the data analyst, the business user, or simply the data wrangler holding the data on top of his head. He's trying to hold on to it and trying to actually just take it from point A to point B. What it feels like is that this person is actually holding the weight of the world over his shoulders and is a really, really heavy weight. What this person needs is actually a tool that can leverage his knowledge, his experience with this data so we can actually get the results that we need. And this tool is Power Query. Power Query is the tool that can actually help you leverage your data wrangling needs and get you from point A to point B. Now, what does Power Query do? Power Query in a more technical manner falls under the ETL category. ETL is a simple acronym that translates into extract, transform, and load. We extract data from virtually any data source. We then transform or reshape that data in a logical sequence. And last but not least, once we actually have it transformed, we load the result into Excel or perhaps a data model. And this is basically what Power Query does. It is a tool that helps you leverage your data transformation or data wrangling needs. Now, you're probably wondering what makes Power Query stand out? 
why should I be using Power Query over other ETL tools? And to that, I'm going to give you six reasons on why Power Query is so amazing. The first one is how simple it is to use. Power Query has an intuitive UI that can get you from raw data into amazing data in just a few clicks. It has out of the box features to solve the most common business user problems. It is backwards compatible. So the same code that you create perhaps on Excel 2010 can actually work on Excel 2016 and vice versa. It has new features probably every new month, so you can get new connectors, new data sources, new functions, and simply new buttons almost every month. Decoding, which is the M language, it is easy to grasp and easy to learn. And last but not least, it is scalable. A solution that we created for the desktop can also be deployed to the web and refresh on the web. 